Alright, what's up guys, it's Blurped, and today we are going to be going over some methods to do lots of damage. So I'm talking like, one-tapping zealots, like, lots of damage. Yeah. Alrighty, so before this video actually starts, I would like to uh, give some more information on the giveaway. So I w I'll be giving away these 1 million coins here. And I also forgot to mention I'm giving away this prize also to the winner. So I got two stacks of spiked bait, four super boom TNT, aspect of the Jerry, infinite quiver six book, feather falling six, feather falling six, first strike four, projectile protection five, enchanted books, silver fang, haste three potion, titanic experience bottle, white gifts, and a health potion, I think 13. So please like and subscribe and leave your name down in the comments and you'll have a chance to win the giveaway. And don't forget to stay the end. Alright, so for the first damage method, I'm here at the blacksmith because basically it's honestly just reforges. So what you're going to want to do is... Reforge first off your weapons. So like I recommend sharp because it gives crit chance plus 20 and crit damage plus 75 Which that is a lot because like right now in wise armor I have my crit chance is 59% and my crit damage is 165 and if I switch over to unstable Then I get crit chance 99% and crit damage 241% because I have this is the setup I got. So I just got, I think I just got all peer, yeah. Because peer gives, like, basically just all around stats. Which is really nice. Alright, so next, you're going to want to open this guy. It's better if you're playing on, just, like, clients, like Lunar Client or Bad Lion. Because then you can do reforges to match and exclude. So basically, what you're going to want to do is you basically just take your talisman you also need coins for this as you can see i got twenty three thousand coins so when you reforge it depends on the rarity of the item basically so this is uncommon so it only costs 500 coins to reforge right but like i think legendary talismans cost 2500 go to my accessory bag you're just going to get as many accessories as you can even if they're like garbage ones like this like itchy zombie talisman like, reduces the damage taken by zombies by 5%. That is super bad. Like, like that's like nothing, basically. But it's still nice to have. Because it's basically just, like, talisman that you can reforge. Because having that, I get plus 3% crit damage and plus 1 strength, right? Uh, also, you can't have duplicates. As, I, as you just saw, I actually had two frozen chickens. Which is not good, because... Basically, it doesn't work if you have two. It'll only work for one. It doesn't double the stats. So I want to re reforge the Red Claw Talisman. So as you can see, it's itchy right now. So you just click here. Now it's demonic. Now it gives me plus two strength and plus seven intelligence. Right? And all of them give you different, like, like things. I recommend itchy, though, because it gives you crit chant, crit damage, and strength. Which is really nice. So, yeah. And plus, if you get forceful, it gives you, I think, plus four for a normal talisman. And plus five, I think. Or seven for a legendary talisman. So the second damage method I'm going to be showing you is with pets. So, basically, for a starter, the best damage pet would be the Enderman. Because first, the base stats, or not base, I guess, but like the stats it gives you on regular is crit damage. So that's really good. So that's a bunch more. And it's like not in percent, it's in actual like numbers. Uh, and then you get the, as a common or rare, I believe, or no, as a common or uncommon, you get the Enderian buff. Which makes it so you take 12.3% less damage from end monsters, which is actually quite a bit. And plus it's more because it's level 41 and epic. 
and if you get it to rare or higher, I believe you get teleport savvy, which buffs the aspect of the end ability, granting 20.5 damage, weapon damage for 5 seconds, which is really good, right? And then later on, if you're going to do dungeons, get the sheep, because it makes your ability thing if you're a mage. Uh, then I just have the horse pet for memes, because it's a horse. But yeah. So, like, if I do a damage test, so if I go to the end right now, with, like, the horse pet equipped, because the horse gives me, like, no stats, basically. I come over here. 9,300 on crit. Then I switch to Enderman. 11,000 on crit. That, that's how OP that is. It, it makes me do 2,000 more damage. Which, if that that's like an insane amount. I can almost one-tab Zealots already. And then, also armor's a big thing. Because like, if I switch to my Unstable, then I do 14,400 damage. Right, and plus my crit chance is a lot higher because it's unstable. All right, so the f the next damage making method is gonna be armor. So basically, I recommend dragon armor. If you have dungeon sets or anything, then use those that are better. I'm not sure which ones are, but there are better than dragon armor. Uh, so I don't re recommend getting superior. It is super OP. But it also, because you need 240 fragments to make one set of armor, and that costs $49 million. So, that's more of a really late game thing. But if you're going for damage, I'd probably say get strong. Because strong is only 3 million, 3.5 mil. Like, all dragon armor, it's like more late game stuff. Uh, if, you want, if you're going for speed... Get young. Um, that costs 1.2 mil. I think it's the cheapest, or I think Wise is the cheapest. Or not Wise, definitely not Wise. Wise is really expensive. Yeah, Wise is 2.7 mil. So if you're going for, if you want to be faster than Young Armor, Young just gives you base really fast. If you go for Wise and like the thing I'm doing, because if I switch over to my Wise, then I get 738 mana. If you keep the Rogue Sword, every time you right click, you get a speed boost. It increases your speed by 20 by 30 seconds. And it stacks, basically. So I can just spam it. I'm, I don't have max mana, but you see, I can go up to 400 speed, which is like. I think twice as fast as Young Armor. Unstable, which is the one I have. I really like Unstable because it, it's 600,000, which is really odd. It's really cheap right now. Old Dragon Armor, do not buy it. It's just, it's just a waste of money. You're losing money, I'm losing money. 600,000 for nothing. It is a waste of money. And it gives you, like, basically base enchant, so it gives you, like, feather falling, protection, stuff like that. But it, it's just really bad. It's, like, not good. Protector is for defense. So that's 600,000. The, these are going for very cheap. Usually they're at least in the mill. Uh, Holy Dragon Fragments, like the Holy Dragon Armor, I believe is for... Like, just regen, basically. So it's like, your health and regen. I've never used it, never seen it. So I wouldn't know, but I assume that's what it's for. So basically, dragon armor is really good for damage. Especially unstable, if you do this with it. And make sure to put it on all of your armor, growth 4 and prop 5. It doesn't seem like it does much, or like prop 4 or growth 4. Because, like, because it just boosts you a lot. Alright, so this damage-making method is kind of two-in-one. So it gives you, like, all-around stats. So I guess it's, like, an everything-in-one. It's just skills. If you upgrade your skills, you get so much. Because if I upgrade my farming, 
I get health. I get extra health, like just base health. If I upgrade my mining, I get base defense. So I just get more defense. Combat, you get you do more crit damage. It doesn't seem like it's that much, but like it stacks up, so it ends up being quite a bit. Foraging is really good because it gives you strength, and strength is like gives you like a lot more damage. Fishing just gives you more health. Enchanting gives you intelligence. Alchemy, I think, gives you intelligence. Yeah, alchemy gives you intelligence too. Dungeons, I think, yeah, no, that's just its own thing. Dungeons, they give you health. Taming, it gives you pet luck for when you craft pets. And all these give you coins too every time you level up. Carpentry just gives you recipes. So it's really good. And another really OP way, I'll put this in this clip because I'm lazy. Then the fairy soul pond. That's what I call it anyway. I don't know what it's actually called. Uh, then there's Tia the fairy. So basically, you trade in fairy souls. So you trade in five every time for like stat boosts. So if I look at my, you go to quest log and there's fairy souls. So I've collected 58 out of 209. So I've got like all of these. Like, yeah. And basically. These are what the fairy souls look like. They're hidden everywhere. You can get, you can watch like Tom Dio's video, stuff like that. Uh, then you just exchange them and you get strength, stuff like that. You get strength and I think health and defense and true defense. I'm not sure. The the more you hand in hand them in, the more stat boosts you get. So it's really nice to have, and it's like the like the easiest way to get stat boosts. So the next damage method would be potatoes. I know you're probably like, oh, potatoes, why? Oh, that gives you nothing except enchanted potatoes and baked enchanted baked potatoes. But you're wrong, you see, because basically potato farms are really good to have, not just for farming level, but for just like all around goodness. Because you need the potatoes for the potato collection. Potato t collection, potato minion, portal to the barn, vaccine talisman. Vaccine talisman is really good. Another easy reforged stone, or not reforged, uh, talisman, because it basically makes you immune to poison. Uh, enchanted potato, venom's potion, which makes them deal da like deals damage to enemies over time and reduces their speed. Uh, travel scroll to the barn, enchanted baked potato, and hot potato book. See, this is what we need. So basically, build a potato farm to get fifty thousand potatoes, or use a potato minion. Um, but I recommend the farm because it's fun. Uh, potato minion is probably cheaper though. So the hot potato bug. So if you combine it with a book in the anvil, it gives you a boost, right? So it costs an enchanted baked potato and just three paper. So it's pretty simple. And basically, it gives you really good stats. It, I only think I put three or something. I don't remember, but it basically gives you strength and damage so as you can see beside the on the top the damage and strength i'm getting plus 10 on each because that's because of the hot potato books right so we're at the hub now and basically the best part about having the hot potato books the fuming potato books like they they cost like a mil each so it's like they, they're just like way better and you can put more of them on your weapons but you can't craft them so the hot potato books are really good because, first off, you can sell them for 67000 each. So, basically, if I take, like, 10 minutes out of my day to farm my potatoes, make even one hot potato book, that's still 68,000 coins for basically free, which is really good. Or you could just buy them. They're, like, fairly cheap. It's, like, you can buy more of them than buying a replenish book, that's for sure or a builder's wand.